The Ask CLI makes it easy to create and manage in-skill products and add them to your skills. Clone an existing skill from your developer account or create a new one using the Ask New or Ask New flag template options. I'll create a new one with Ask New. Before creating an in-skill product, think through the product or service it unlocks. What content does the product offer? In which regions will it be available? How often is this offer changed or updated? With this information, you're ready to start creating your in-skill products. First, let's take a look at our project in our text editor. InSkill products are managed by the CLI and JSON files stored within the project folder. Each JSON file contains all the necessary information required to define and configure an InSkill product. You can see that we don't have one yet. Let's change that. I'll change directory into the project folder and create an InSkill product with the ask add ISP command. You also have the option to provide a file path with the F flag or a product ID with an I flag. I'll select the kind of ISP I want to add and wait for it to be created in my local project. Now let's take another look with our text editor. You can see that an ISPs folder was added and if we look inside there's a JSON file for our Farm Fresh Cookies product. You can continue making changes to the file until you're ready to deploy. I'll go ahead and deploy now with Ask Deploy. Great, my InSkill product is deployed. Let's check the status with Ask Status flag ISP. This will give us the ID for any skill products we've created. In order to remove any skill product, we'll need its ID. I'll copy this now. With that in hand, I can remove the Farm Fresh Cookies product using the Ask Remove ISP with the I flag. Now I'll check the status with Ask Status flag ISP. We can see that the ISP is staged to be removed. Let's deploy the change. And check once more with Ask Status ISP to confirm it's removed. Looks like it worked. For more information on the Ask CLI and InSkill purchases, check the links in the description.